Hi everyone. Today we will see how to connect AWS Security Auditing to Microsoft Cloud App Security. By doing that, you will automatically benefit from a number of the built-in policies in MCAS, and you will also be able to create your own custom policies to detect any suspicious activities in AWS. First step is to open the AWS portal and go under Security Identity and Compliance under IAM. Then on the left sidebar, click on Users, and then click Add Users. Type a username, and then under Access Type, click Programmatic Access, and then click Next for permissions. Then click on Attach Existing Policies directly, and click on Create Policy. Select the JSON tab and replace the content that you see here with the one provided in our documentation. Now click on Review Policy. Then you'll need to put a name for that policy. And when you're ready, you can create the policy. After that, go back to the previous tab that was initially opened, refresh the policy list, and search for the new policy that you just created. Click on the checkbox next to the policy name, and then click Next. Finally, you can click on Create User. Download the user details by clicking the Download.csv button, and keep that file handy. We will use it in the next few steps. Now we need to verify that CloudTrail is enabled. For that, go to the main services page and under management and governance, click CloudTrail. In our case, it's already enabled, but if it is not, simply create a new trail and specify the proper S3 bucket. And we have now finalized the AWS part of our configuration. Let's move on to Cloud App Security and connect AWS. Start by going to the connected apps page and click on the plus button. And of course, select connect AWS. Type a name for your instance and click Connect to Amazon Web Services. We're then required to provide an access key and a secret key. These can be found in the previously downloaded CSV file. Now simply copy paste them to the MCAS page and then click the Connect button when you're ready. After just a few seconds, you should see that message acknowledging that Amazon Web Services was successfully connected. You can now let it sync, and you have completed your Amazon Web Services security auditing configuration. Your next step to secure AWS will be to connect Amazon Web Services security configuration and to configure the proper policies for your environment.